Is Papa the Bogs back? The first question is, why are they back? I don't know. So in case you missed it, Pop in a Box is now on Twitter slash X slash I don't want to call it X because it's Twitter. Here's the post. It says, keep an eye on here for updates. Wrong. I what? Bottom up. So the first. What the? It's been a while, guys. You guys are still here. Question mark. And you don't know how to read. It's been a while. You guys still here. What did you I said, say? You said, it's been a while, guys. You guys still here? Like, why'd you throw in an extra guy? All right, keep an eye on here for updates. I made Pop in a Box in 2014, and now I'm back. And then it Huge has, grin emoji. It has the I'm the captain now gif attached to yeah, it. Yeah, so it's really weird that they're making a comeback like this. This is a weird way to, to basically say, hey, Pop in a Box is, uh, we're, we're turning everything back on again. And I'm the guy who originally started it in 2014, and I'm here to, to get it all back together again. Isn't it? Like, way too late for this? I feel it like it's way like too late. It, it was like yeah. a year ago that Pop in a Box disappeared. And I it only know that. It was a year that. ago or more. And I only know that because we made videos about Pop in a Box leaving. Yeah, so let's rewind a little bit. So essentially, we noticed that the Skeleton Stitch with Chance of Glow Chase Funko Pop changed to Entertainment Earth. It was originally supposed to be a Pop in a Box exclusive, then it turned into an Entertainment Earth exclusive, and then all of a sudden, all their pops were off their website. They made, they sent out an email saying that people who had their subscription service, it was like a mystery box type deal. People who had their subscription service were still going to receive their final order or orders or something. But then everybody else. It was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I, I don't, I don't quite remember the ins and outs of it, but it was just really weird. And they just up and disappeared. And from what I remember, I do believe that like people just didn't get their orders. Well, a lot of people got screwed out of their money, like a lot of deals that were being made with small Funko Pop companies. Mm -hmm. So for Pop in a Box to come back, like this person, whoever this person is who started in 2014, it was probably best that they just started something brand new instead of resurrecting Pop in a Box because a lot of people have like bad memories about them. Their service in general was really rough. Damaged boxes a lot too, I well, remember. Well, yeah, because they lived up to their name. It was literally, they would send you a pop in a box. They wouldn't like wrap it in they wouldn't protect or anything. The Funko pop. Yeah, yeah, it was just a pop within a box. But to resurrect this company, I, I understand why you would do it. Because pop in a box, the name. But we now have negative feelings toward the name. Yeah. So to resurrect a name that we all feel like negative about is a really interesting move. Yeah. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because I had people sharing this with me all day long. Thank you to those who shared it with us. And when I saw this pop up, I thought it was a meme. Like I thought this was a joke. I didn't think this was real. Imagine the Big Apple Collectibles decided we're resurrecting. Hey guys, we're back. And then I'm the captain now? It's weird. <laughs> I mean, that's such a weird, am, am, am I crazy? That no. is such a weird move. It's really weird. And I don't remember, like did that person like sell pop in a box to somebody else and now they're taking it back and they're like hey we're resurrecting and i'm the original owner or is it like hey we're resurrecting because we want to keep the name and on top of it the internet is a crazy place so if he were to open a new store in a different name but their name were tied to that store the internet would figure it out anyway. And it would be like, oh, well, the pop in a box owner is uh, starting a new business under this name. Don't shop from them because they owned pop in a box and look what they did. They screwed a bunch of people well, over. Well, he could have at least explained it. Hey, I was yeah. the guy who started pop in a box, but then I sold it off to these people and then pop in a box took a really wild turn and things didn't work out. Again, blah, blah, blah. I don't know the history. No, I don't know the history. Yeah. yeah. So like him selling it to somebody else, we're not sure if that's true, but I, I feel like that might be because why would he say? Based off of what's being said. Yeah. That's, my, that's what I what, gather what from this. What was it? I'm the original. Oh, I made Pop in a Box in 2014 and now I'm back. So I guess he is now reclaiming the name and everything and maybe he's making a new business out of it. I don't know, whatever the case may be, this is not the right way to do it. You would post 
basically like I'd mentioned previously. You'd post up and say something along the lines of, hey, I'm starting anew, and Pop in a Box was purchased by somebody else, if that was the case, and they drove it into the ground, but I'm back, I'm the guy that started it, I made it awesome, and I'm back to make it awesome again. Or uh, we're starting a new name, we're starting a new branch, what, whatever, whatever the case may be. Why or how is this a smart move? It's bizarre. It is a really weird move. And I and I wonder if this is a full-on joke. Like, <laughs> did somebody get a hold of this account and now they're screwing around with it? I don't think so. So I'm actually looking on the Twitter post and on the I'm the Captain Now, Dis actually asked, what will be the plan? New website or social media only? Pop in a Box replies, I've been away for three years. I'm looking at launching a website that gives Pop in a Box to everyone else. I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, and someone said more like stay away from pre-orders, whatever that means. Well, not to do pre-orders because a lot of these small companies can't Yeah, it's, them. it's just a weird way of saying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But I don't understand what giving Pop in a Box to everyone else means. And then Fungo Finders replied with a gif that says this should be interesting. So let me, uh, real quick, is it possibly, I mean, this is allegedly, is it possible that this person got on here drunk? I don't allegedly. know. This is crazy. Because so, that's kind of weird to make statements like this. Like all of this is just so weird. And weird. I, I, I don't understand. We're going to read through comments, by the way. There's a lot of comments well, on Instagram, and I want to read a ton of them. I have comments here, because okay. I'm trying to piece together this puzzle. Do we want to pull up Twitter on here? No, I've got oh, it. Oh, you got it. Okay. So someone says, OG Pop in a Box was legendary. I remember restocks of things like Bane and Bank Robber Joker when they were already rare and vaulted. It was all about the collectors. Pop okay. in a Box replies, ah, yeah, that was me. Did a few of those. First one we did was actually Harley Quinn with Mallet. Sold them at retail when it was 80 pounds on the market. Oh, it's UK. UK pop collector says, good to have you back, Ed. Hope all is well, mate. So I guess the guy's name well, is Ed. Well, they must know the guy. Okay, his name is Ed. Um, so maybe he wasn't drunk, allegedly. <laughs> Someone replies, for the love of God, please, as a customer, be transparent. If you can't fulfill orders, cancel with refunds. Too many companies are shady, shady these days. Fair. And Pop in a Box replied 100%. I mean, so far, what I'm hearing is like, these are positive comments. Now, on Instagram, it's a different ballgame. Yeah. But I'm hearing positive comments. A lot of people from the UK. It sounds like a lot of people, maybe in the pop community, knew this person. And it's, now this person's coming out and saying, hey, I'm back. And they're all like, oh my God, it's Ed. We remember Ed. It's, but we hated the guys who took this, over. This is just one person from the UK. Why are you saying that? I thought you said there's multiple no, comments it's that you read. Multiple comments that I am reading. This is the same person. Oh, it's the same person? Yeah. Okay, well, I take back everything I said. You should. Someone says, excited for you guys to be back. Whoever managed your day today the past couple years have been terrible. Someone else says, so are we back into the full collectible game? You guys used to get some of the best exclusives. Someone else says, man, I hope you guys never get any of the exclusives I want. I'll go out of my way to get a special edition sticker at that point after the awful customer service oh I had God. with you guys. Oh my God, that's what I was talking about right there. I don't think I ever got a refund for the TMNT pops I ordered, so no. I'm still waiting for the pops I never received. Maybe not a good idea to bring back a company with a tarnished reputation. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't just bring it back and expect good results. Yep. Someone said, great, but my opinion is don't add stuff you can't get. Package better. Fast delivery. Faster mm -hmm. delivery, maybe? Well, don't pre-order stuff if you can't wait. Anyway, exclusives and stickered pops. Well, in order to get an exclusive, a, a retailer has to make X amount of purchases right, from right, Funko. Right, right, so, right. Yeah. Okay, let's read some comments from Instagram because I feel like we're going to get pretty much the same exact thing. So on Instagram... Hold on. If you do not fulfill pending orders, I would never shop with you again. Okay. Uh, you guys were the worst. Never got anything I ordered, so no. All right, so this person says, worst Funko distributor ever. They shouldn't, they shouldn't come back. They owe me like $300 this person says. $300. Coming back when people still need refunds, make it make sense. Exactly. I mean, that's the real point here is that if they are still not giving people what was owed then, then you can't bring the, the name back now and expect that everybody's going to 
have their arms open to you. It's just not going to happen. Like, it's a really bad move. They have no shame. They still owe a lot of money and pops. Yes, a lot of people on Twitter were saying the same thing as I was scrolling. So they can rip off more people. I still never got my Dennis Rodman pop I ordered from them ages ago. Hadn't noticed they were gone. That's interesting. Most of us did. They weren't even good when they were in business. No thanks. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting an overall like negative. They back with my pops from 2021. Mm -hmm. Pop in a box never took my money, but Big Apple Collectible still owes me hundreds. Okay. Well, what's that have to do with pop in a box? I don't know. I guess they're talking about small, you know, companies get, screwing them. Bring back the pop in a box Venom exclusives. I never had a problem with pop in a box, but heard plenty of horror stories. Welcome back, I guess. They can try, but I'm done with them. Just know, what is this? I agree, what is this? They should stay gone. Funko trying to revive the grave. Bring back Big Apple at this point. No. Pop in a box was ass. Yes. Nobody uh, gives a f what. They shouldn't come back. Yeah, so I think it's the, the consensus is pretty straightforward. There are some people here who do not remember that pop in a box left or they have no idea that it even happened. Most people are saying they got screwed and some people are like, well, I got screwed by other companies like Big Apple. That's hilarious. Exactly what I thought uh, when I saw it go down a little bit. Is it April 1st already? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it does feel that way, right? I mean, this is bizarre. I hope they don't. Never seen a company that seemed more desperate to send themselves out of business than pop in a box. 100% agree with that. Please no, that person is begging. Right. Like, please don't damn, come back. Uh, damn abusive relationship, trying to come back, trying to act like nothing happened. Man, that's a killer comment. Just like they name exactly how you receive your stuff literally in a box, no protection. What you said already, pass. Always uh, use protection. Always use protection. Always. always. I hope not because they suck. Sounds like an insanely bad idea. So, you know, this is not good. Across the board, people are pretty hateful. They're hateful for good reason. They had bad service and people didn't want to deal with them. They wanted their stuff. They gave their money and they never got their money or their stuff. So now they're all up in arms. They don't want to see this company come back. And people like us who had done business with them, we know that they damaged their Funko, you know, Funko Pops come damaged. Mm -hmm. They don't protect them properly. So that makes us have like a distaste for them. So what's the angle here? Judging by the tweets and the comments, it's, hey, I used to own Pop in a Box. Somebody else did for a while. You guys got shitty service, and now I'm bringing Pop in a Box back. I don't know why. This is just really, really bizarre. And I don't like that there's no explanation. I don't look like that there's no bullet points of this is what we're going to do better. I don't like the no apologies, and I don't like no explanation for what happened and why so many people haven't gotten refunded. Right. Like, it's weird. Because in order to, like, buy back a company, they had to have communicated with the old old new owners, right? I guess, unless they had a stake in the company this whole time, but left them to deal with it and now it sort of ends up with them and they get the name back like they own the or trademark what, or something or who knows what if they're just saying that they were the old owner but it's and BS not yeah i mean that could be the case too i don't know i have no idea this is like the director of the original suicide squad basically saying he has a director's cut that's way better and we should all you know fight for the studio to bring it out and to release it Nobody wants that because the movie was horrible and there's no director's cut that'll make it any better. And that's what this is. This The same thing is what's happening here is that they're trying to bring back a company that sucks. It has a sucky name. Nobody cares for them. I, didn't, I, I mean, there's one person who had a positive comment. Actually, I thought there were multiple the way that you're reading them, but it turned out it was all from the same person. So there is one person out there who's pretty positive over this whole thing. Well, it makes me wonder if this person has a personal relationship with Pop in a Box because that's what Could it be. sounded like. Could be. And they called the person by name, which if they know the owner, a lot of people associate smaller businesses with the owner. Like they'll call owners by name. So maybe it's just they don't know the person, but they just know their name. I don't know. Well, they're even cryptic about what the 
their idea of this company is supposed to be. Somebody's asking, "What are you coming back to social media? I think it was this. Are you coming back to social media platform or whatever? No, or you, I think or, that was somebody else. Or whoever it was. Are you coming back to social media or are you coming back as a shop? And the answer sounded who it sounded like somebody was typing and, and not even thinking. It, it just, none of it even made any sense. It was like an autocorrect response. It, it, where yeah. you, you know those things on like Facebook where it's like, hey, finish the sentence. And you just keep pushing a button. I like, and then yeah, you push, 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 I like push. earwax, grandma, hi, how are you? Yeah. And then you're like, oh. You, that's what you yeah, end up that's with. That's how what happened. Made a sentence. So if if this account, all right, let's put it this way: if this account today uh, posted, "Hey, we're coming back, and here's the background, and things were crap, and now we're making it better, and here's how we're going to make it better." And hey, we're sorry. Totally different ball game. Or, or like, hey, we're trying to figure out how to get the Funko Pops in the hands of the people who who ordered them, or get money back, or whatever. Right? That's a really great way as a like we're back and we're trying to make everything right. Right. Yeah. That's how you would do that. And I'm, I'm not saying it's feasible for them because I'm sure they don't have the money to do to, to like help this ugly situation that happened. But that would be the way that you would come back or you come back and say, sorry, people handled it. You know, the company in a really bad way. They screwed everything up, but I'm here to make things better. None of that happened. It was all very cryptic. So let's talk about what this company could be doing. The only thing that I imagine that a company like this would be doing is reselling. Mm -hmm. Because no one is doing pre-sales anymore. The pre-sale game is out the window. A lot of our friends like poppingofftoys.com, they don't do pre-sales anymore. Mm -hmm. They had to get out of it. It was sinking their companies. This is across the board. So a lot of people would jump to pre-sale ship. In fact, do you know of any small Funko retailer that does pre-sales? I mean, there's a couple minor ones. Does Entertainment but, Earth do pre-sales? You know what? I think they do, but they have a direct connect to like Funko. In case you guys aren't aware of what Chris is talking about, there were a lot of smaller shops that completely screwed their customers over by doing pre-sales. They basically took customers' money they said, hey, you know, you, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get your pre-orders or whatever. And then they just left because they weren't making any money at all. The Funko pre-orders weren't coming in, no fault of their own. However, the way they handled it was not the best. Right. Yeah, Funko was screwing these little companies up. And basically, I think, from what, what I remember, because we've talked about all these different topics separate times, but Funko basically was moving away from small companies. They were focusing yeah. more on these larger targets, Walmarts and GameStop. So those bigger companies would be the very first to receive the props right. that you would pre-order from the smaller shops and then customers would get frustrated and say, hey, small shop, I already picked this up at GameStop, please cancel my order. It was just really bad for it, small it was kill, shops. It was killing them. Now, I'm not defending the shops like Big Apple and Kraken who just left customers offended them for themselves that just didn't refund people or anything like that. I'm not trying to defend them. However, we saw it take down companies and I think that that was a major, major contributor was the Funko pre-order model. Like Chris had mentioned, a lot of shops are now just doing like purchasing collections and selling pops that way, which in my opinion is fantastic. And it allows them to continue to stay open because, you know, they're not getting screwed by Funko and Funko's pre-orders and yeah. frustrating customers. Yeah. So there's a lot of, there, there's a lot of issues that shut down these smaller shops. So a lot of the smaller mm -hmm. shops are now crippled and now Pop in a Box is like, hey, uh, we're coming back, baby. We're gonna do something. We don't know what something is, but they're doing something. Mm -hmm. This is so weird. This might be the strangest thing I've ever seen from any company when it comes to Funko. I know a lot of these companies have done strange things, uh, like steal your money from you and not send you what you deserved. But to do all of that, and then to say on social media, hey, we're coming, we're doing something. And I'm, hey, I was the guy that opened this thing way back, you know, three years ago, four years ago, or however long ago, what, 24, 10 years ago. Uh, I opened this thing a long time ago. We're going to, you know, I'm back. What? I, none of it makes any sense. Mm -mm. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. And we want to know your comments uh, in the comment section down below, what your thoughts are on this. It seems like across the board, very negative. If you think this is a good thing, I would love to hear from you. I would not bash you. I just would wonder why people 
would think this is a good thing. Uh, pop in a box, we would love to hear from you. You can email us at gasforecast at gmail.com. We would love to hear what your thoughts are and what your plan is. And we can come here in front of the camera and sort of discuss what you're thinking you're about to do. Because we would love to understand it. And maybe we can help explain to the audience what's that you're the captain now? I mean, I mean, look. I mean, look they at, already did with a gif on Twitter. I mean, it's just like, what is going on here? Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. I mean, this is so crazy to me. I think that, oh my God. Oh no, hell nah. They got us all effed up. They bow to get jumped. TF, auto, us, auto, out of all of us. In the comments, they definitely owe some couple hundreds of thousands to customers. F them. But we want to know your thoughts and more in the comment section down below. I want to know your thoughts. Are you going to pre-order anything or purchase anything from Pop in a Box? No, of course not. No, I, I will not deal with Pop in a Box. Basically, not off of what had transpired in the past. I think that if Pop in a Box wants to truly come back and be a business, I'm talking, this, I'm being serious now, no jokes. They have to explain the process of what they're trying to do, apologize to everybody who was burned, explain how that happened and they weren't included or involved. We need to know why they weren't involved. Like, how is it that they were like sort of, I don't know, out of the out of bounds while all this crap was going on and then they step back in. Well, I started this thing 10 years ago, so I'm going to make everything great again. So we need to see some, one, we need to hear from this guy longer than I'm the captain now. And we also need some proof that they're going in a better direction. I really honestly don't think a lot of any of what I just said is going to happen. I don't think so either. No. So. But I, I hope so. Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support. You guys are the best. In every video, we like to shout out to 10 of our patrons from Patreon. Derek, Tina Maldonado, Joshua G, Michael Petrino, Joseph Mayfield, Brian, Fanatic Hat, Greg F, Ryan Thomas, and David Jones. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And make sure you check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support this channel. There are many ways to support the channel. And in return, you get all sorts of cool perks like our live Google Meet chat every single month where we do giveaways and we show off brand new Mischief Toys items that have yet to be seen and stuff that will be dropping months down the line. So come and join up and tune in to those calls because we have a blast there. Before you go, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. The like button helps in a really big way, so make sure you hit that before you go. Thank you so much for staying tuned and being here with us. We appreciate you. We will see you in the next one. Bye.